Hi guys, I'm Bree, and today I'm going to show you how to get the command block in Minecraft. So first we're gonna launch a single player world. We're gonna make sure that it's on creative mode and that cheats are on. It is very important that cheats are turned on because if they're not, then you won't be able to get the command block and I'll show you exactly why once we load in. Also disclaimer, the only way to get the command block is if you're in creative mode. You can switch back and forth from survival and creative if you want, but the only way is with creative mode. So now that we're spawned in, we are going to open our inventory and we're going to search command. And as you can see, the command block doesn't appear. So how do we get it? What we have to do is we have to use the commands that are built into the game. So we're going to type in give and then type in your username. You can click tab and it'll automatically fill it in. And then we're going to type in command block or we're going to type in command and the top command is the one that we automatically want to fill in so we will tab it and click enter and we have the command block and you just place it like regular like a regular block and now we have to activate it so the way that we activate the command block is with redstone so we are going to take some redstone dust a redstone block and a redstone torch you don't need all of these things i'm just going to show you different ways to do it hello there little chicken anyways so what we want to do before we activate it is right click on the command block and this is a list of all of the different commands that the command block can give you. We are not going to cover them all today. I'm just going to go over a couple just for an example. So let's say we want it to give us an object. So we're going to type in give and type in our username and let's say you want a cherry boat. So we're just gonna type in the cherry bow, click enter, and now we have to activate it. And we'll know that it works once we activate it because we'll automatically get the cherry boat. So first we'll do it with a block of redstone. And there we go, I got the boat, block is working. Next, let's break it. You can even put it on top, you could put it on the side, in front. In front, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna fill that in real quick, but it, doesn't matter where you put the redstone as long as it's touching the block. Um, let's do some redstone dust and we'll do a torch. Got it. And we're also actually going to give ourselves a button. And if you click the button, it'll give you the block that you that you entered. Um, and then let's say we want to move it. What if we want it to be on this tree? So we're going to right click. The only thing you have to make sure that you do is to right click again and re-enter in the command that you want or enter in a new command. So let's do say we did it. So as soon as the block is active, the game will send a message saying we did it. So let's use, let's just use the block. Oh, make sure if you're going to click on the block that you crouch and then right click. Otherwise, you'll do what I just did. And as you can see, it works because it says we did it. Um, let's say, let's do another example. What happens if you accidentally remove the command block from your inventory? Do you have to type in the command again? No, all you have to do is click the middle button on your mouse when pointing at it and you can get it. That is for any block in Minecraft that you're looking at. All you have to do is middle click and you have it. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Those are the basics for this specific command block. Make sure um, that for this command block, you type in, in, or you make the settings say impulse, unconditional, and needs redstone. There are several different types um, of command blocks. This is the most basic one and it's very helpful, very useful. So maybe in the future we will go over some of the other command blocks and what they can do. But that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.